Hey guys, welcome back, Ricky here. Yes, I know I look a little tired because I am. <laughs> a lot of you guys have been asking, kind of oddly enough, about my schedule and how I go about my day. So I wanna spend just a few minutes and kind of break down my schedule for you. It's uh, 4.30 in the morning. Uh, but typically, I like to get up at 4.30 have some time to myself, I like to read, have some quiet time, spend some time with the Lord. And so this isn't a preaching video, but that's what I do. I spend a good hour between uh, reading the Bible and prayer and just being quiet and kind of just prepping for the day. Okay, so I just, uh, it's about uh, 5.30 now and uh, I have my quiet time. So now it's time to go. <sighs> and do a little bit of work. Okay, so it's uh, 5.30 in the morning and um, I checked the temperature, it's 35 degrees outside. <laughs> it's freezing. You think I'm actually sponsored by Kraft, Kraft, and Kraft, and even my pants are Kraft. <laughs> I'm not. I just like their gear and I get discounts from this company. And I got a pair of gloves, uh, North Face, so <laughs> not Kraft. Uh, I'll test this gear and see if it's warm enough. I think it should be for 35 degree weather. And it looks really thin, and it is, but it's all insulated gear, so I think this will be enough. I'm gonna go for a run. This is time for myself, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Or I go to the garage and do some weights, I do some core exercises, push-ups, whatever it is. Um, so I'm not like trying to be uh, you know, a superstar uh, waking up at 4.30. I wake up at 4.30 because I know that when I get a good night's sleep, typically between four and five hours, I'm able to function very well throughout the day. And also between 4.30 and seven o'clock, um, it's, it's the golden two and a half hours where there's no kids running around. Um, the world is sleeping, everyone is sleeping. It's uh, 6.05 a.m. And I've been on the road for now for two miles. And uh, so that puts me at about a 11 to 12 minute pace. No, 11, 12 minutes per mile pace. It's just me and the sleeping world. Oh, there's one car. All right, it's freezing. It's about, like I said, 35 degrees. And uh, it's time to go back home. And I can have quiet time to prepare myself for the day and to reflect and just have that devotional time that I feel like I need uh, to function as a dad and as a husband. 45 minutes later, at uh, exactly four miles, or 4.1 mile, and then uh, at a sub 11 minute pace, a sub 11 minute mile pace. <laughs> so not bad. It's uh, exactly 6.24 right now, see the air? probably between 35 and 40 degrees. You can tell my lips and my face is cold, so I'm, I'm kind of slurring right now. <laughs> Anyways, it's time to go back in the house, uh, warm up my face a little bit, <laughs> and uh, get some water, and then the kids will be up in about half an hour. And then the tornado starts all over again. And then seven o'clock is when all the kids get up. So almost on the dot, every single day, one of the kids will be awake, and then when one awakes, all of them wake up. <laughs> what's, ha what, what's happening here? Oh, sweetie, gotta give her some space. She just woke up. Yeah, she just woke up. She's tired. Sweetie, she wants to get it away from you. She needs space. Onion in space. Oh, yeah. So between seven and nine, I'm getting breakfast uh, ready for all the kids and we're just getting Sierra dressed up for school. And then by 8.45, we leave the home. Um, either my wife or myself will drop Sierra off at school. And then from 9.30 to 12, it's filming time. So if I have filming that I wanna do, I do it in that kind of that window there. Yeah, workflow is nice too. Space gray, you got a nice little thunderbolt. Yeah, a little dock. Uh, it's semi-professional. <laughs> You're so nerdy. Semi-professional, <laughs> not an expert, just a hobby. <laughs> it is, it's just a hobby. 
um, but the twins go down at 11 o'clock, so um, I have to come into the from filming for 15 to 20 minutes and put, help put the twins down. And then I come back out to either just wrap up my filming and to um, shut the lights off, whatever it is, kind of clean up the studio a little bit. Oh, and then breakfast. You're wondering about breakfast. What do I do for breakfast? <laughs> um, I don't eat breakfast. So when I wake up, I don't eat anything. I drink a lot of water and then I will have my first meal before I leave to pick up Sierra or before Sierra comes home. So between 11.30 to maybe 11.45, um, I'll grab a really quick bite, either some cereal or I'll have leftovers from last night's dinner. But yeah, so I have really about two hours a day um, at the most to videotape a recording. So typically I have to batch my work. And so on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I will film. And then on Thursdays and Fridays during the same time from that 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. mark, I will edit. Um, so I don't really spend uh, five days a week filming as many YouTubers do. I just cannot afford that time. Uh, my family is just much more important. And considering I only have about two to maybe three hours a day for work, um, I have to kind of batch my schedule in that sort of fashion. Uh, so that's just kind of how things are. Uh, I would love to have, you know, six hours a day where I can just film and edit. It's just not a luxury I can afford at this point because I have kids at home. I have one kid in preschool. Uh, once all the kids are in school at the same time, it may be different. And, uh, but you know, until that happens, that's just kind of what you have to work with or uh, what I have to work with. And um, from 12.30 to 1, um, I'm, if I'm with Sierra, I bring her home or we go shopping. Um, now, typically, Sierra will go down for a nap at around 1 o'clock. And then she'll sleep for one hour and the twins will sleep for about two to three hours. And so typically, I have about, about a half an hour to a one hour window from 1 to 2.30. And I will upload all the footage from my camera or download all the footage from my camera into my computer and then I'll do some email checking. And then at two o'clock, Sierra wakes up. And so she needs downtime, she needs Sierra time. So between two and three o'clock, we'll give her the iPad. She'll do her thing, she'll watch her shows. And uh, it's kind of quiet because my wife and I are kind of preparing for the storm of the twins waking up. <laughs> Why are you awake? I think I'm doing it. Mm, you should be sleeping. You should be sleeping for another hour. I'm controlling <laughs> Why are you awake? Mm. Ooh. What? Mm. Excuse me? Almost on the dot between 3 and 3.30 every single day, the twins wake up. And so when they're up, it's a hurricane in the house. There is no stopping the storm. It is here. You just have to be ready and hold on. Yes, and when I came back from Japan, uh, a lot of you guys uh, asked me what my kids were like. <laughs> yeah, for a whole hour, all three of my kids were jumping on me, laughing, grabbing my face nonstop. It was the best. <laughs> from 3.30 to 4 o'clock, all the way to about 9 o'clock, it's family time. That time is non-negotiable. I don't do any sort of work during those hours. Um, it's just me and the kids and the wife. Hey buddy, what are you doing? Well, hmm? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All of us are awake, wife and I, kids, and we're just spending time together. Uh, no distractions, no phone calls, no emails, no texting, nothing. It's just our time. <laughs> what are you doing, baby? What are you, you being silly? And, and part of the reason why I can dedicate myself fully during that time is that because I have had time to spend for myself earlier in the day because my kids need me and my wife need me. And so when they're awake and they're going, I need to give them my all. And then between six and seven, all the kids are getting cleaned up, um, bath time, play time, you know, final, final play time for the twins and bath time for all three of them.
And then from seven o'clock to 7.30, the twins are going down. And then between 7.30 and eight to 8.30, it's Sierra time. We read to her. She gets about four to five books every day. And then by 8.30, hopefully she is in bed at the latest by nine. And then between nine and 11 o'clock, it's mommy daddy time. And so, yeah, so that's why I wake up at 4.30. Again, it's not a magic, uh, magical formula. It's not gonna work for everyone. Um, you know, it's, it's really easy for us and even myself to watch a video and see somebody who's very successful, say they wake up at 3.45 and want to emulate that. Uh, you know, and, and just as a reminder, just because you wake up earlier, it does not mean that you will automatically become more successful. It will allow you more time to think about certain things, to plan certain things, hopefully so that you can become a little bit more uh, free th during the rest of the day, uh, maybe more efficient, and yes, maybe more successful in the long run. The best advice I can give you is that when you set the alarm to wake up an hour or two hours earlier than you normally do, the best thing you can do is sit up in bed. <sighs> Let's get the light on. <sighs> oh, that's right. <sighs> Sit up and stay up until you're ready to get out of bed. And if you can do that, you will be successful at waking up earlier. Okay, so it is 6.32. <laughs> uh, so I get about a half an hour to kind of just relax and uh, <clears throat> gather myself because the kids will be up in about 30 minutes. <sighs> now my hair is naturally kind of tall. <laughs> now you guys know what I look like in the mornings. And another encouragement for to those who want to wake up earlier. I have found that when I wake up early, even though I don't want to, I always feel great. But on days where I sleep in till let's say 6.30 or 7, and I wake up and I'll say, oh man, I wish I had an extra couple of hours to do something like working out or just to have time to yourself or myself. Uh, so that's my encouragement to you. I always, I always feel like I've wasted a couple of hours when I don't wake up early enough to accomplish something. So even though it hurts sometimes to wake up at 4, 4.30, so unless I wake up at 4, 4.30, there's no time for me to work out and that's something I desperately need to function. My quick encouragement to you is don't wake up later than you wish you did. And yeah, that's the one of the motivating factors for me to wake up early.